Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to consolidate all the five steps to studying in New Zealand. I hope it will be helpful for all you guys who are interested in studying in New Zealand. For those who are, who are watching me for the first time, my name is Kiran Palipuri. I'm a licensed immigration advisor and I'm also trained by the education department of New Zealand. So I'm able to counsel you for your study needs in New Zealand. Okay. And please note, someone giving an advice with this background, you will be definitely benefited. So always try to approach a licensed immigration advisor who is also an education counselor. That way you will be in good hands when it comes to processing your student visa and also seeking help uh, about getting your uh, study needs in New Zealand. All right, okay, let's get to the first step. Choose what to study. So here I'll be helping you to choose the course or program based on your background, okay? And second step, plan your budget, essential step, because fees, everything should be legal source. I will help you plan for the budget, okay? Apply for the course is the third step and based on the background and uh, your chosen uh, study, I will help you apply the course and I'll also help you apply for the visa. So I will apply the visa on your behalf. I will also help you prepare the visa application. I will be your assistant. <laughs> Finally, get ready to go. So once you get the visa, I will help you in giving you the tips and uh, plan your trip to New Zealand and uh, see what are the initial things that you should be doing. Okay, here in this slide, I would like to give you more details about how could we help you. Okay, let's get a little detailed. Okay, first step, I will be discussing your qualification, try to understand your career goals, and I will all show you available options to discuss and decide the course. Yeah. Second step, I will be able to advise all the acceptable modes of finances to show you know, how you can present your documents uh, to immigration. Okay, It's very important that the source of the finances is legal. Okay? It could be your fixed deposits or it could be an education line. Those are the top two good sources of your finances to show for your student visa. A, the third step is about uh, getting the offer in place from the chosen institute. I will be able to help you with getting the offer in place, which is otherwise called the admission letter. This document is essential for your student visa. The fourth step is about applying for your visa. I'm going to help you collate all the documents, make it a proper application and I'm also going to submit the visa application on your behalf. This is going to be an online application and they are going to give you an e-visa once you get the visa. Okay, so it's very, very important that uh, you take the advice of an immigration advisor so that, you know, you are able to do the right uh, application for your student visa. This is very, very important folks, you know. There has been a lot of abuse of the system and you, you always make sure that you are taking help from an immigration advisor. The final step, the fifth step, I will be giving you tips and guidance about accommodation, the initial checklist and how to start living in New Zealand. Okay, so by the fifth step, you're all excited uh, you know, because you're going to fly off to New Zealand and start your uh, higher education in New Zealand. Okay, so those are the five steps just to recap the five steps to studying in new zealand the first step choose what to study second step plan your budget third step apply for your course step number four apply for your student visa and step number five get ready to go all right i hope you you got you got enough information about the five steps you need to take before you move to new zealand as always